Hello guys and welcome back. This is episode 16 of Let's Play Super Meat World. I was very happy to see that I actually got some pretty decent responses from the last episode, so I guess we're going to keep going with this. Wasn't sure if there was still much, you know, demand for people playing Meat World, but, you know, there seems to be, so let's go for it. Why not? So let's check out what we've got at the top. It's called Care. It's a hospital tile set chapter. Five levels. Alright, so we've got some... I don't know what to call this. Very sort of chunky... Um, blocky looking design. And parallaxing moon. And a river of blood, which is pretty much par for the course for Meat Boy. He's not too worried about that kind of stuff. Yeah, so we've got... I think that's supposed to look sort of like rain falling, but it's falling indoors. Yeah, whatever. That wasn't terrible. Okay. Well, here we go. Now we've got <laughs> many, many smoke uh, emitters going on. And also some strangely placed needles, and the level's just sort of a box. So it looks like I've got to go around wait up here and then come back down. There's a bandage up there for some reason. Oh, and I got a little too close to them needles. There's also some invisible looking blocks right here for some reason. Not sure what the deal is with that. Oh, well that makes it easier. Nah, not worth it. But now that I know there's invisible blocks, uh, I can pretty much just finish this. And a typically oversized bandage girl, but I'm kind of over caring about that. There's also a key that seems to fall right when the level starts over on the left side. Just noticed that. Yeah. The, the platforms were not terribly placed, I guess, but the decorations were kind of horrible. Next. The hell? Oh, I forgot that that tile even existed. I was like, why is there a holographic Meat Boy in front of me? This one looks like it's a little bit better in the decoration department. Looks a little bit more fleshed out. Uh, this is going to be a little hard to jump unless I get rid of most of these blocks. That sucked. Probably just run over them, huh? Oh, and there's even a spot to stand at the bottom. That's kind of a tricky spot. You have to act oh missiles, okay. So you actually have to do a jump across and then immediately a jump up to avoid that saw blade coming at you. So now that I know there's missiles, I need to not lag right here. I don't know what's... oh, okay. They put the camera brown so close to the bottom that it looks like you're just standing on nothing. And a little zigzag jump. Never hurt anybody. And then, oh, that's gonna reveal another missile launcher, and now I'm dead. Darn. Terrible timing on that one. This level seems much more playable than the other ones. Uh, like, there's actually something going on. Still, decorations need some work, but it seems like it's not quite as distracting in this level. And there we go. I'll give that one a three. Ooh, that's horrible looking. Alright, somebody didn't differentiate between the background and the foreground. It's a little bit rough on the eyes. So I've got to stay in this small constrained space while hopping those and not hitting the laser. That's kind of asking a lot. But I did it. Now it looks like I've got to go up some platforms and over here. Oh, where's the key? Oh, on the other end of this. Lagged a little bit, but it's okay. And we're out. I'll give that one. Yeah, that totally deserves a two. Oh, that's ugly too. It's 
some sort of like Lisa Frank pink and purple. Gross. That was an awfully easy bandage. Did I do that wrong or something? Did I exploit the level some way? And the key's down there. This one seems very easy compared to the other ones, but that's fine. I'll uh, be happy to get that through. And that was a chapter called Care. So moving down the line, we've got one called Parry, P-A-R-I, another five level chapter, and this would be the same chapter. Oh, Super Meatball, Super Meat World, you never fail to disappoint. And I did exit the whole thing, that's still a mistake I make even after 15 previous episodes of this. Let's check out Meet Ron, which uses the tile set of Forest, which is a usual warning sign to be afraid. And we're downloading. Oh, there's a full 20 level chapter. And it's pretty typical for tile Forest tile set. So, we've got one block type with some sort of strange ivy stuff going on. There's like some smoldering... I don't know what going on down there too. Can't complain too much, my first level Masticate was, or Mastication was actually a one block deal like this, but yeah, okay, whatever, I'll give that two. Alright, this one looks a little bit better. I kind of forget when I'm looking at the tile set that it set on the top that the, it's just based on I think the first level or something. So there's no guarantee of what tiles you're going to actually encounter in each chapter. Is that conveyor belt really supposed to screw me up? Hello? Oh, somebody figured out how monsters work. That's good. Is there a hidden... Oh. Tricky, and I'm um, playing as a different character. Okay. So I should be able to jump... There. And, well, that's gonna kill me, certainly. Might as well not fight it. Now I know where to go. And that's still gonna kill me if I get up there. I don't know. Now we're good, right? No? That laser never stops? Guess not. Forgot I can ride on the ceilings. Um, I'll give it three for ingenuity. Oh, that, that looks violent. How do I do this? Oh, destructible block. Another destructible block. Those things fall? Is that actually a falling obstacle that I wasn't aware did that? Okay, I have to test this. Hang on. Oops, that is not how I test it. Yeah, huh. Totally could use that for a gimmick. I'm picturing disappearing, not disappearing, uh, break blocks up above somehow breaking with those falling on you. Pretty tight spot there. But I made it. Cause I'm awesome. Three stars for teaching me something new. Hello. What are you doing here? This is not really a level. Oh, you're tricky. You put those tiny little saw blades and thought I wouldn't see them, huh? That's not a level, so one star. Oh good, and now we get to do it in reverse with an added spinning saw blade and more of these little guys. Safe right here. Oh, god damn it. Seems like he has a bit of an easier time navigating these tiny blades. did it again. 
You gotta stop right after that second one. Oh, didn't see that one. Tricked me that time. Ah. Don't fool me twice. You get one star for being annoying. Whoa, super speed. Okay, I thought I was still the last character, but now I'm Meepo again. This is not hard. One star for making too much level and not using it. Okay. Are these supposed to be warp pipes or some sort of Mario thing? I'm not buying it. Uh, I already did this in one of my levels, so I'm not impressed by this movie. Stand on his thumb. And it'll be like he almost has his thumb up his butt. Is this. Oh. Well, good for you coming up with a sort of a different way to exit the level. Clearly just had Bandage Girl covered over with a four tile or something, but it's still interesting, I guess. Uh, this one looks like it had a little bit more time put into it. Plenty of squirrels to go in those buzz saws. Kinda ended the level a little strange on the left here. Pretty easy, but sure. I'll give it a three compared to your previous ones. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm up here, so now we're doing this in reverse. Okay, where's the key? There it is. Sort of halfway off the side of the screen. Here. Have to be careful you don't accidentally eject yourself from the level. Okay. What's the challenge there? I have two for that one. Well, now I get to go and do that in reverse. Somebody's using the same ideas too many times. Oh, we figured out how to use lights. Let's use them. Whoa. Did not jump at all that- whoa. Why can't I jump there? What's that? There's something wrong with this tile that makes me slide. I need to figure out what's going on here. I can't jump when I'm on this tile. Okay, I don't understand, but will the author please be get in contact with me and explain to me what they did to make that effect happen, because I can use that effect in levels. That's sort of important to know that, actually. It probably has something to do with the diagonal tile, or maybe there's something else going on underneath the block that I'm not seeing that it's covering. But I'm very curious. You get a two. Not this level again. Isn't this like the fourth time we played this level? Why are we doing this so many times? Come on. Out. Oh, okay, and then we've just given up entirely? No. Just once. I'm guessing that was a filler level, but I'm not sure why it would be placed in between other levels that weren't filler. And it just keeps on going. It's tough. And another filler level. I don't know why I just gave that a star. Oops. Oops. At least that's an interesting pattern. I'll give you that. Tile's still... Oh, hello. Maybe using rocks for stuff. Two. 
Okay, that's meet Ron. Uh, we've met Ron, and he's made of meat, and that will be the end of that, because that was kind of a poor chapter. But, on that note, thank you for watching. This has been episode 16 of Let's Play Super Meat World, and leave me a comment, would you? I'd like to talk to you guys some more. See you next time. Later.